know, my kids are grown. Right. You know, my attitude is is a lot different than it was. You know, I, like for example, you know, if I was on Match dot com, I would say I'm looking for a slut. I wouldn't right. say I'm looking. Hey, these are my common. No, I. And by the way. That doesn't mean, like, if I say to you, oh, you're a slut, that's a compliment. That's not an insult. <laughs> you follow, like, that's like, right. I'll marry you. That's not a problem. That's, okay. I mean, that's inevitably what I want to find in a mate, right? Well, Robbie, you can speak to this more than we can because you've gone on all these dates throughout these years. I mean, if you go on a first date on, with a Match.com girl and you, and you hook up and have sex, I mean, you're, that's good, right? You're happy. Yes, in fact... If you skew older, that tends to happen more frequently. I would imagine so. so. I might have told the story on the air, but I'll tell it again anyway because it's such a wonderful story. Robbie is ahead of the curve by about 10 years in terms of online dating. Yes. Robbie has only exclusively dated online. Yes, and I did it back even when it was when there was just AOL chat rooms, if you recall those, and there was no uh, match.com. Old school. That is – yeah, that's really creepy. But anyway, <laughs> Robbie – you know, Robbie's been divorced many, many times. Of course. And after one of his divorces, you know, again, we've talked about this. You can only split your money in half so many times. And then, of course, it's, it's just a small fraction of what it once was. Well, that's where he was at this point. So he's kind of getting back on his feet. So I'm like, hey, just come live with us until, you know, you get your S together, right? So he comes. And what Robbie would do every single day is he would come home. He'd go upstairs. You hear click, click, click. He'd be clicking on the keyboard. He'd do that for about five minutes, and then he'd get a backpack, and he'd roll out. This is every single day. This isn't like <laughs> once or twice. Every day. And then Exaggeration. Then some days he'd come back <laughs> with the backpack, and then other days we wouldn't see him. So that was, right. that was his little success story. And I will give Robbie some credit. He didn't come back with the backpack about as often as he did. So he's probably hitting about 500 in those deals. So, Robbie, like what percentage were you closing the deal on night one? I think we discussed this before. It, I was definitely um, above 500 for sure. Well, that, that wouldn't happen. You wouldn't think, oh, well, this girl, she's doing this with every guy. You wouldn't. There wouldn't be a negative it, it, spin it, to that. It depends on the girl. Sometimes there wouldn't be a second date. There just wasn't chemistry for whatever reason. So it wasn't going to happen. Anyway, it wasn't going to happen on a second or third date. I mean, are you telling me that you would you would have the, a first date? You'd have sex and then you'd break it off? No, I'm not saying that it would end after that first time. But has I'm that just, ever happened? Because that would be difficult. It'd be it'd be obvious. It why did happen. It off. happened. Yeah, and you got to remember, Robbie's going out on hundreds of dates a year, right? I mean, every <laughs> other day, actually, he probably dated about five out of seven days a week. There's 52 weeks in a year. He's going on about 250 dates a year. That's about what he's doing. He's spending a lot of money on this. Yeah. Well, Not yeah, really. I mean, he's probably did a lot of let's go Dutches. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm imagining that's <laughs> well, I would what never he, say he that can't. Word. Because even if he spends $10 a date, which he did, and you spend $20 a date, that's $5,000 cash. That's, that's a lot of loot. Well, a first date is more, it's more appropriate to like have coffee or something. What? You parlayed coffee to sex? Listen, you're, you're times. you got to think about it. And, and this is important because Robbie is going out on, you know, 300 dates a year. He can only have coffee or he's going to be broke. That's the right. move. Okay. So, if, it's, if it's late in the evening, sometimes ice cream. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice. Right. So here's his move. He's like, what would you like? She's like, Oh, I'll have a, I'll have a tall with skim. And he's like, let me get this. And he pulls out like $3. You follow <laughs> what I'm saying? No, I pull that's out my a, Starbucks gift card. That's a that's a smooth move. He's paying, you know. He does, it's not like he's buying to buy her a croissant or anything. Would you do this line where she'd say, "Oh, if I have coffee, I'm going to be up all night," and you'd be like, "Well, good." <laughs> no, I would never say something that cheesy. Ah, oh, that's money, dude. You could have made that happen. Have you ever been like, "Hey, let's go to maybe meet at Starbucks." And you go, "Well, I'm kind of hungry. You want to go to dinner?" And he's like, "Nah, no thanks." No. Have you ever done that? No, that's because never could... happened. See, I've never been on a first date, and then we had sex that night. Like, really? Yeah, I'm not saying that I haven't like hooked up with people that I just met, but that we weren't on a date. You know what I mean? We just sort of met somewhere. But I've never had, like, I haven't had that many dates. You know, I mean, you you've dated thousands of people. Oh, I can't imagine Robbie's number of dates. Oh, I mean, it's going to be some mind-boggling number. I went on one blind date in my life. We went to we saw Blade in the theater. It was a great Whose movie. idea was that? 
I can't remember. I think we mutually decided on it. Um, but she she talked about you know wanting to get married and have kids. I was like, what is this? This is not first date conversation. So we made out in my car, and then I never saw her again. <laughs> did your car smell afterwards? <laughs> it did not. It did not. She was. She didn't work at at Kenny's did shoes you, or whatever. Did you ask her if she'd go to third base for a caramel macchiato? <laughs> <laughs> she kept calling me Wesley Snipes. It was bizarre. <laughs>